Hey everyone, what's up? Andrew here. Welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know who I am, um, I'm a photographer and videographer based in Adelaide, South Australia. And today I'll be sharing two simple ways on how I light my product photography set. And shout out to Nanlite for sending me two power tips to work on. This is not a sponsored post. Nanlite saw my content and they approached me and said, hey, do you want to partner up to create some tutorial series on how to use the light? And I've been a Nanlite user since day one of my film and photography journey. So I'm like, yeah, send over your products and I'll work with it. And I can show people on how I use these products to do my daily work as a content creator. So without further ado, let's jump into how do I set up the first scene. So for the first scene, I'll be using the Nanlite Forza 60 with a lantern for a demonstration. One of the reasons why I like to use a Forza 60 is because it's small enough and the light is strong enough. And if you look at this space, this is a very small space that I work with on a daily basis. And I like to move around depending on the scene that I'm shooting for. So having a smaller light tied to a C stand and also like a smaller dome, it's always a nice option. And using a lantern is good because it gives a nice dispersion of light throughout the surrounding. And it also emulates a very nice natural light kind of feeling like um, when you're shooting beside the window. So I really like this. So I'll be using watches as a subject for these two sets and I'm going to show you how do I play around using different objects to set up the scene. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like textures a lot. And for this scene, I'll be using an ammo box and some trinkets to set up the scene. And one of the reasons why I use highly textured items is because it's non-reflective. And when you're shooting a product or a subject, that has reflection, especially like a watch that has a glass face, you want to minimize other objects that has reflection surface as well. And the last thing you want to do is constantly moving the light around or moving the angles of the watch around because you can't find the right angle due to too many reflections. So this is very simple. So as you can see, using the lantern, you can actually disperse the light evenly out and give a nice gradient tone. So you don't even need to use a reflector or any way to do a field lighting. And this is how I like it. So I would put the lantern as close to the product possible and not by overexposing them. And here are some of the results. And for the next set, we're going to use the power tips for demonstration. So for this set, I want to make use of the RGB lighting of the power tips. So I want to strip away every single thing possible because if you have cool lights, it's really one dimensional. The last thing you want to do is confuse everyone with the over complication of the arrangement because you have a lot of colorful lights. And then if you have other trinkets and also a product there, that might be confusing to someone. So there are ways to do it. For this set, I want to do it as minimal as possible. I'll be using this crystal clear Cassie Oak to do the demonstration. And also a very important tip, when you're using RGB light and also natural light, you have to think about the nature of the product that you're shooting. So as you can see on the first set, I've used a black color Cassie Oak because the light diffused from the Forza 60 gives a nice gradient and highlights the texture and all that. But for the clear Cassie Oak, it has such a unique feature because it's transparent. So it will bounce the light within the straps and within a crystal clear gel in a very unique way. So that's why I want to strip everything down and just use two lights to set this scene up. So for this scene, I'll be using two foam cores. So one will be the base and one will be the background. So these two foam cores will serve as a light absorbent material as well. It will absorb light rather than bounce the light out and then it will highlight the watch more. And next I'll proceed to place a power tip on the left and on the right. The left will be the orange and the right will be a teal color. And here are the results. So there you go. Two simple methods on how I like product photography set differently depending on my creativity and how I want to do it. One, it's more lifestyle based. Another one, it's more like futuristic and neon vibe kind of vibe. As long as you understand the basic principles on how do you like a thing, it's actually not that hard. And as you can see, it's pretty direct and pretty simple lighting for those two sets. So share again Nanlite for partnering up with me to create this series of videos. And if you like the video, hit the like button. Do what you have to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Fingers crossed. It will be very fast. It will be very soon. Till then, peace out.